Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this letterhead in Word, how to put it into the headers and footers and how you can save it as a template. So let's open a new document and let's go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down and you can scroll down to find this shape here. Click and drag across your page. Now the first thing I'm going to do, this has a borderline around the outside. You can't quite see it, but I'm gonna take it away. Go to shape format, go to this icon here, which is the outline and select no outline. Then we're going to duplicate this shape. So select the shape, hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag. Deselect them both and reselect one, click and drag again. Then we're just gonna place them up top here. And for this one, I'm going to change the color. So make sure you're on shape format, go to shape fill, select black. For this one here, again, shape fill, and I'm gonna select this red here. And this one here, I'm going to select this color here. So they're not quite in the right order. So selecting this shape here, I'm going to go up to send backwards and just click once and then just click one more time. And then I can simply move these shapes around. Then I'm going to select the black one, center back again, keep clicking until it disappears behind those shapes. And you can see as I'm moving it around, it really is your choice. You can move these anywhere you want to, creating and customizing your own design. So for me, I'm just going to pop them there. That's just gonna give me enough room to insert my logo. Now to ensure they fully line up, select this one, hold down the command or control key and select the other one. Go to align and select align to bottom, deselect and you can see they're now nicely lined up. So before we put any text in, I'm just gonna create the graphics at the bottom. Go back up to insert, go to shapes and select the square click and drag out a rectangle. I'm just gonna place it at the bottom here. Once again, I'm going to go to outline, select no outline, and the shape fill will turn to black. Then once again, I'm gonna copy and paste it by holding down the Alt or Option key. Deselect and reselect this top one. I'm just gonna create a slightly smaller rectangle. Then go back to shape fill and select this light colored one. Then again, copy and paste it using the Alt or Option key again. For those two with them both selected, if you want to select multiple items, select one, hold down the Command or Control key and select the other one, and then go to the dark red. Now I'm just going to slot them by the side of each other and you can see it's taking up a little bit too much room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all, holding down the Command or Control key. I'm going to go to Width Click five and press enter. That will reduce them all to five centimeters wide. There we go. And selecting them all, I'm going to align, align to top. Let's just deselect, they're not quite together. So we're just going to move them together and I'll just make sure that's aligned again. And then I'm just going to move them down here. Now to make sure they're all centered, you need to group them together. So go to group and then align, align to center. And then I'm just going to ungroup them whilst we put the text in. Now I'm going to create all of these graphics, then I'm going to put them all together in a group, then we can copy and paste them to the headers and footers. Now if you want to create them originally in the headers and footers, that's absolutely fine, but some people tend to get annoyed with the lines that go across for the headers and footers, but it's completely up to you. Then I go up to insert, go across to text box, click and draw text box and then I'm going to click and draw out a text box here and I'm going to get rid of the outline and I'm also going to get rid of the white fill color then I'm going to insert my text I'm just going to copy this in I'm sure you don't want to see me typing then once I've done that I'm going to select it and hold down my alt or option key click and drag out another one deselect reselect this one click and drag out another one then I'm just going to select everything in this text box, delete it. Then again, I'm going to paste in some text. Do the same with this one. 
Now to make sure they're all perfectly lined up, we're going to firstly line them up with the middle of the box. So select this box, hold down the command or control key and select this box. Go to align, align to center. We'll do that with the other two. Now we're going to put the little icons in. So go to insert, icons. And at the top in the search bar, I'm going to type in phone. And then I'm going to select any of these choices. I'm going to select this one here, click insert. And you can see often when it's inserted, you can't see it. So just keep it selected. Go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. Then we can go to home. Then we can go to graphics fill and select the white. And then we're just going to move it down. Then we're going to go to height, press one centimeter and press enter. Now I'm just going to zoom in. This is where it can get a little bit clunky. So click and drag this across. And once again, I'm going to select this, hold down my command or control key and select the larger box. Go to align, align to middle. Perfect. That's where it gets clunky because it keeps zooming back to the top of the page. So I'm going to do that with email and location. And all I'm going to type at the top is email. And then once I've inserted this one, I'm going to do the same for location. Now, if this happens where you're trying to click on the icon and it doesn't select, just move something out of the way. Move everything out of the way and then click and drag. We'll come back to this bit at the top. Then we go to graphics format, turn it white, make sure it's one centimeter. Make sure that there's a tick in this checkbox and therefore you'll keep the aspect ratio. If it's not, it will change this one to one centimeter, but it won't change the bottom one. And then we just go ahead and align to center again to make sure it's in the center of this rectangle. Then I'm going to type in location, select this one, click insert, wrap text in front of text, go to graphics format, turn it white, change it to one centimeter, then just use my arrow key to move it down. Hold down the command or control key to select both those elements. Align, align to center. Now just to make sure that everything's lined up at the top here, I'm going to select the location one. Hold my command or control key down and select the remaining, the remaining two. Go to graphics format. Align, align to top. Now we're just going to move these around at the top so that we're happy with their position. Then we're going to insert our logo. So go to insert, picture, picture from file. Just going to select picture one and click insert. Again, wrap text in front of text. So you can see your cursors up here. So if you start to type, then you're going to type behind your graphics. And if you hit the return key, you can see it shifts everything down. So what we want to do First thing, if you want to keep it like this, that's absolutely fine. All you can use is a text box to then create your letter inside. And the way in which you do that, you would insert text box, draw text box, click and draw out the text box. And then you can simply start typing your letter here, which is fine if you only want to create one page. You can get rid of the borderline by going to shape format and going to no outline. But obviously, if you want to save this as a template and you want several pages, then the best thing to do is to select everything. The quickest way to do that is to click on something that you've created, go to selection pane, click at the top. This is all the different things that you've inserted into Word. So click on the top one, hold the shift key down and click on the bottom one. You can now see that everything's been selected. Go to group and select group. And now all of this is in one group. So now what you can do is go to the home tab and click copy. Then you can delete it by clicking on the cut button. Double click at the top or the bottom of your page. You can see you're now in the headers and footers. Go to the home tab and click paste. And then all you need to do is simply move your graphics into place. Then if you need to make any adjustments, you then simply have to click on it. Go to shape format, go to group and select ungroup. And then you can go ahead and you can simply change anything that you need to within that design. So when I double click back inside, 
that's in the middle of the page. You come out of headers and footers, just double click in the middle of the page. And you can see my cursor is still at the top here. So the way to move the cursor down, go over to rulers. If you can't see rulers, go to view, then make sure ruler is checked. Then hover between the gray and the white section, click and drag that margin down. And now you can see your cursor is here and you can begin to type your letter. If you want to save this as a template, go to File, Save as Template, make sure it's saved as a template here, and then make sure its file format is a Microsoft Word template. Once you've done that, you can open up Word and you'll have all of your templates, your personal templates there, and you can use this over and over again, and Word won't overwrite it, but will simply ask you to save it as a different document. If you don't want to make this letterhead because you've not got enough time, there is a link in the description below where you can download it. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.